Hey folks, this is Gray here, and today we're going to be doing a review, but with a little bit of a twist, because in this review, we're going to be going over a portable power station, as well as giving one away. The details will be inside this video, so stay tuned. So what we're going to be looking at today is the EBL 500, which is this portable power station right here. As you can see, it's not too bad in weight. It's a very compact. It has a lot of your uh, normal ports and whatnot on there. But we'll look at this up close and personal. We'll go over the ports and what you get, the wattage, uh, and some of the uses for this uh, for you guys out there in the emergency preparedness thing. Because 500 watts, what can you do with 500 watts? And I think it's about 519.4 watt hours. So before we take this thing back to the bench and kind of get a close-up look at it, I said 500 watts is going to limit to you certain things. But... The main thing that usually I would use something like this for is, like I said, charging, you know, small portable electronics, uh, using it for lighting, uh, people with CPAP machines. I know this one is rated for a CPAP. If without the heated humidifier, I think is what it's called, um, it could run almost over a day uh, so that you always got to pay attention to those uh, specifications and whatnot. All right, so with this unit, there's always pros and cons uh, when you're looking at things of this nature. Uh, so let's, for instance, this doesn't have a supercharge on there where some of the units I've seen that are kind of more advanced have like that really super fast charging. Uh, something like this is probably going to be from the wall outlet. I think it, the max charge you could put on is 105 watts, um, which will take you about six to seven hours to charge the unit via an AC outlet. Um, I think the cigarette adapter is seven to eight hours, and then solar is going to be anywhere from eight to nine hours, of course, depending on your solar conditions, being if it's partly cloudy, not cloudy, the type of solar panel that you're using, uh, so on and so forth. Pros on this, it does have a pure sine wave uh, inverter in there, so it will, when you're charging, you know, specifically certain electronics that are very touchy, this does have a pure sine wave inverter built into the unit. Also, another pro to this is going to be the pass-through charging. And what I mean by that is if you have it plugged into the wall or some other way that you're charging the unit, you can, of course, also have one of the things that you're trying to charge, be it, let's say, if it's a, uh, uh, like I said, some radios, uh, a laptop, phone, uh, some sort of other portable flashlight or something like that, that you're trying to charge, you can still charge the unit and you charge your devices at the same time also has an overload protection so you know it's rated at 500 watts it can go up to about 550 or so plus or minus 40 watts uh, depending on the situation and the surge uh, and then of course it'll click off and protect the unit itself and then you would have to of course reset that unit and let's kind of look at it. a couple more pros of the unit it does at least have two AC adapters and now one thing with the type C's that I wasn't a fan of, it's only 60 watts versus 100 watts. Uh, but again, it's a 500 watt unit. So I'm trying to give it some leeway here because I want to be fair uh, when you're kind of going over products like the EBL 500. One of the specific reasons I chose this is because EBL reached out to me and said, look, you've never done a review on this device and we would love for you to do a review on it. You always do such a great job. Uh, we want to give you a second one to give away to your viewers. So before we get into the whole uh, giveaway and how that's going to work, of course, uh, most of the time what I'll end up doing is having folks do something specifically, and then I will uh, pull the winner on a live stream. Uh, towards the end of this video, I will kind of give you more detail about that. But for now, let's go ahead and take this thing back on the bench and kind of get a close-up look of what uh, the ports are, how they're situated and whatnot, uh, and some of the specifications of those ports uh, on the back bench. All right, so outside of the unit, what you get in the box is you're going to get your cigarette adapter for your power to use it through your car to charge it through your car now one thing i do want to mention uh when you use this charging method for your unit your car does have to be on um just to kind of let you know that in case someone you know decides to purchase this unit uh and they want to know specifics uh when you're charging via your vehicle uh and you have this plugged into the unit you're definitely gonna have to keep your vehicle on so that can be a pro or con for some folks but you know, being total transparent, I'd like to let you folks know that specifically. I'm going to get your adapter for your solar panels, as you can see there. Uh, standard connection for your solar panel there, again with the barrel connector there. A um, little cord here, I'm trying to keep it up in there so that you can actually can see it. The cord itself, there we go. So you can see that there, uh, you have your normal uh, solar panel connectors. Uh, as well as the barrel connector to connect to the unit there. Get your AC brick here, the same connector there. You can see they're all very, uh, they all have the same connector for power input um, and whatnot. This is your standard AC brick uh, with an AC plug. I'm assuming if you live in other countries, if these are available in other countries, they would probably have a different plug on that. 
you have your manual. Um, the manual is relatively easy to read. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, like I said, when it tells you when you get unit to charge this thing first. And I hope whoever wins this unit uh, on the giveaway uh, will look through this. It kind of tells you your accessory list here. Put in everything that I'm going over. As you can see here, it tells you, you know, what all the buttons mean. Kind of how I do when I go over the reviews. I always tell people to please read your manuals. It has a lot of information in there and uh, troubleshooting. You can usually figure some things out if you're doing something or missing something wrong. All right, so let's get to the unit, right, folks. So let's kind of take a look at the, the unit itself. Um, one thing I did want to notice is, see these here? This is a rubberized kind of corners on this unit here, uh, all the way around the unit. You can see this rubberized thing here. I like that, basically, in case uh, it, you know, gets bumped or, you know, knocked around. It's kind of like that anti-shock kind of protects the unit itself uh, from damage. Uh, so I do like that about the unit itself. Now let's kind of take a look at the front panel and what you get on this unit. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, which is by turning on the power button there. You can see it's uh, charged up to about 100%. Um, and I always charge the units just to make sure that they're functioning and discharge them a little bit. Uh, but then I charge them up for the reviews. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of uh, touch certain things in here. But let's kind of focus on some of these other things real quick. I'm going to kind of bring this up close to you here so that you can see this is your input here. This is your DC input uh, and your PV input. And again... This is going to be either for your, your barrel connectors, for your uh, power adapter that's going to go in here, your cigarette adapter. This is also a solar connector, uh, unless you have an adapter for this, uh, which does come in the box, uh, like I showed you earlier. Um, but So this is going to be your input section here, uh, which is clearly defined right there, as you can see. And since we're starting at the top here, um, we'll go ahead and touch the light button. The light button, of course, is going to illuminate this light here, uh, which easily you just turn that on. You can see it's pretty bright. I, you don't really need to, I personally don't like to go into the SOS mode and stuff like that, but you can uh, in regards to that, but you can turn that off. But if you realize that when you have this on, very little battery drain. So if you just needed a continuous light for units like this and others like it, um, it's very beneficial to have the lights built in, especially a very bright light. All right. So now let's kind of move over here uh, to your barrel connectors and your cigarette adapter. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a 14 volt, 8 amp uh, max uh, barrel connector. I think these are like 5525s, uh, the technical name for them. And of course, you have a 14 volt, 8 amp cigarette adapter uh, for your unit. Now, to access this, of course, it's going to be very easy. Uh, you can just hold that in. You'll see that's going to pop up on the screen there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Bring it up a little closer to you. You can see how it says the DC on there. And that's going to conclude your small DC section here. Now, moving over to the USB, of course, you're going to hold that on. Light's going to go green. That's how you know it's active. And also, this is going to say USB on as well. Uh, and here we are. So you have your quick charges, which is nice to have. You have two quick charge 3.0s, which is your USB type A. So you have one, two, and three. So three quick charges, which is always a benefit. Uh, so that is a definitely a pro for the unit. And also, some people always ask about the screen timing out. The screen will time out roughly in about 20 seconds. Um, if you have, uh, let's say, something else going on and you walk away with it and you're wondering why the screen's off, it's a 20-second. And you can literally just touch anything, uh, and that screen's going to pop back on that light. It, I mean, it's just a, it's a power-saving thing. Uh, you can even see that I haven't even pulled this off. I, I, I don't do it often, but I know some people like that, that, that feeling of just pulling that plastic off. Makes so many people happy. <laughs> uh, anyway, so you can see, uh, here's, here's, like I said, this... This can be beneficial to some and maybe not to others, uh, but it's a PD 60 watt. Now, I prefer 100 watt, but this is a 500 watt unit, but at least you have a type C uh, output, uh, which is a PD 60 watt. 60 watts can do fast charging for most of your phones and other devices. Um, the 100 watts are nice to have just because of the way technology is progressing, but at least you have access to one that's here. Uh, and for most things, uh, it's you can use it and it's just fine. Uh, but things that are more power hungry, of course, you would probably want to go up to a 100 watt. Now, that being said, let's kind of look over here at the AC units. Move this to the side here so you guys can see that. I'm going to go ahead and push this button and hold it in. Light goes green. And then you can, of course, see right there, this is AC on. So now if you look at the screen here, you can see it says USB, AC, and DC. So it lets you know that they're all on. Let me move that back and move this to the side. And you can see this is an AC pure sine wave inverter. So again, like I said, for more of the touchy electronics, this is great to have. And what's very nice about this unit, being it's only 500 watts, at least you get two AC outputs. Um, so again, 
To me, I'm very happy to see at least two of those. Um, maybe they could have done away with one quick charge and put two PD-60s in there. Um, but that's just personal preference, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of nitpicking at that point. Um, but I'm glad that it has two AC adapters. And like I said, if you have a CPAP machine or if you're trying to charge anything, you know, like some comms or something like that or flashlights or small electronics, th this will work uh, uh, very well, you know what I mean, at 500 watts. Um, also, I mean, believe it or not, this thing can power my, I think I have a 40 watt. I think it is. I think it's a 40 watt. Uh, I'm trying to go see if I can see it from here over where I'm sitting at my little mini fridge. It, I have a 40 watt mini fridge and this will charge it uh, for about 11 hours. So depending on the mini fridge you have and the size and the, and the draw, mine's only about 40 watts. Um, and of course, there's going to be a surge when the AC, the, the compressor kicks on for that fridge. But basically, it just sits closed most of the time. Uh, so very minimal draw and roughly about 11 hours. And like I said, this, the things like CPAPs and stuff like that, like the last one I did, it had a 300 water, uh, a portable one, which is nice to on the go. I mean, you can technically possibly take this on the go uh, as well. I think it's, I forget the weight of this one here, um, but you could possibly take this on the go as well and keep it in your vehicle. Um, but for at home, uh, for a CPAP, like I said, a normal CPAP, and I don't mean normal in general, but without the heated humidifier is what I'm saying. Uh, they usually draw between 15 to 25 watts, uh, and you can probably get almost a day out of that. Now, if you have a heated uh, humidifier on there, uh, of course, that's going to change the game a little bit because it's a little bit more of a draw, and you're probably only going to get maybe 12 to 18 hours out of it, depending on what type of unit that you have. Other than that, I mean, it does have your fans on. Uh, since I've been using it, I haven't really had too much issues uh, with any type of ventilation issues. Matter of fact, I'm looking, yeah, those are ventilation issues. I wanted to make sure I wasn't going crazy for a second because those are very small and they're directed down. I don't know if you guys can see that when you hold it up, you can kind of see the ventilation there. Uh, it's a very compact uh, unit. Um, for those folks up here, this also has, let me kind of bring that down there. You do have a wireless charging deck on there. And let me set that back down on that. And um, it does have a handle uh, that you can use, as you can see up there so it's nice uh, when units have handles because it makes carrying them a lot easier uh, i like the handle that it gets recessed uh, when you're done with it so it's nice and compact and closed there really like to do like like uh, to, to push these things to the limit and the reason why is because it's only 500 watts uh, this is not going to be powering anything like uh, you know uh, a small uh, what's it called hot plate this is not going to be powering you know what's other words and and it doesn't have the BM, uh, no, it does have a BMS system in there, but all right, now I remember the word I was looking for, a un uninterruptible power supply. So it doesn't have that in this. So this is just basically going to be a power station used for supplemental power during a power outage uh, or something like that to supplement something that you may already have, let's say your gas generator or a larger unit uh, and whatnot. But this is portable. Uh, and let's say you have a small child and they need light and maybe a small fan in their room, you can give them this unit here. They can put it in their room uh, and power uh, their fan, uh, their light, maybe if they have a laptop and all that stuff like that. They can plug all that into this unit uh, during a power outage and they'll feel, you know, they'll feel all nice and comfy because they have like the still the creature comforts of society running through this unit here uh, until the power comes back on. Let's kind of bounce back to me and go over the giveaway of this unit, not this unit specifically, but a brand new unit uh, and uh, how you can enter to win. All right, so now that we got a kind of a close up look at the EBL 500, uh, you got to see the ports, uh, some of the specifications, um, and I kind of went over some of the basic overviews of the unit itself. Let's talk about if you want to win something like this and how you can win a free EBL 500 watt portable power station. This exact same one, uh, except it'll be brand new in the box versus the one that I'm using uh, so that you guys can get the best of the best. You know what I mean? Something out the box with all the you know bits and pieces and whatnot. Uh, so I want to say thank you to EBL for giving me that opportunity to give one of these away. Uh, I'm sure it's going to help someone out there. So a lot of folks are going to say, well, how uh, do I win this, Gray? And, and when are you going to pick the winner? So this is how it's going to work. Uh, I'm assuming if you watch this video or maybe you skip through and you're like, okay, how do I win the, the unit itself? Um, first, please like the video. That's always appreciative. It helps the algo uh, and gets the video pushed so others and other viewers can get a notification on their thing. Please be subscribed. You definitely have to be subscribed to the channel because this is specifically geared towards my viewers. And B or C, drop a comment down below 
uh, either it can be your thoughts, it could be what you would use this for, uh, or anything of that nature. Just want to say, hey, great, thanks for you know dropping a video. Truly appreciate it. Whatever that you want to put, or if you want to put some cons or pros, it doesn't matter. Just drop a comment down below, uh, and that'll enter you to win. Now, how am I going to pull that winner? So this Tuesday coming up, uh, I wish I had the date on me, but I will put a thing in my community tab. Uh, along with this video and the date, uh, and then I will connect the live stream when that live stream goes live, but it'll be Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time coming this week. Uh, what I'll do is I'll use the YouTube comment picker to just randomly pick a comment out, and that's how we're going to choose our winner. Now, if that winner doesn't respond in a timely manner, which is like seven days, usually I give everybody a week to respond, then we'll choose another winner on the following week because we have several giveaways to do in regards to other things and other products uh, throughout the month of April. Other than that, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. I truly appreciate you guys uh, stopping by and watching the video in its entirety. Uh, if you learned something or just enjoyed the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate that. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It's uh, always very appreciative. And remember, folks, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound, and God bless.